Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gimba Red, and today we're going to take another look at uh, taking some budget accurate intensity measurements with the solar power meter. Uh, this time we're going to use a TES-133, and actually you'll see um, this is a rebranded TES-1333 uh, from the General Tools. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. I saw it was cheaper um, to buy it as the rebranded uh, General Tools version, and of course, you know, my goal is to give you the most affordable options to get accurate intensity measurements, and especially since most manufacturers are not providing it. So you can use this uh, tip for, for the TES-1333 and for this this general tools ones that's, that's a little bit cheaper. And uh, we just published a big blog um, similar to the 10 Mars correction factors. You can take the measurements with this, put it into the blog, and then you'll get more accurate numbers because we know these measure falsely high. Um, but one thing I wanted to point out with this video, um, a really cool hack, is actually that I was looking through um, the instruction manuals for the TES-1333 and I found that there's a way to change the calibration. So there's a whole whole instruction on how to change the calibration function uh, that we're going to go through right now and and you know that that way you can take your measurements and your numbers will be correct uh, you know right away rather than having to plug it into a calculator so that's that's a pretty neat hack if you want to you know shoot some videos and, and have your intensity numbers correct right away um, one of the first thing you do is actually you make sure your device is off so to change the calibration we're actually gonna uh, while we're turning it on we're gonna hold this set button and then and then we're gonna turn it on at the same time And now we see, you probably can't see, but that the number one in the cal is blinking. So that means I can, I can change it now. So uh, we know these read falsely high by almost 2x. And um, the more precise number that I got from my lab data comparing this specific unit uh, to the lab measurements was that we're going to do uh, about 0.55 as the correction factor. So we go through. We set it to 0.55, and then this is a dangerous calibration because I could increase the sensitivity and give you even more falsely high numbers. Um, so companies using this technique could actually really falsely inflate their numbers because they can recalibrate the number and do 2x or 5x or something crazy. Um, so that that's pretty crazy. So then we set it to 0.55, and then we're going to press set again, and that kind of sets it, so now it's set to 0.55. Um, so it's just a linear correction factor. Um, there's a drawback that these don't measure linearly, so that's why my um, calculators are still the best way to do it. Um, but again, you could shoot quick videos, you know, if you want to be kind of <laughs> more like showing off like you're an expert and you got this recalibrated thing, um, then and you could like kind of recalibrate and say, oh, you know, I've got this accurate recalibrated solar power meter. Um, so it's a fun, fun thing to do. So we'll test it out on the... Uh, escrow max pro uh whatever so we're turning on i've got it's set to you know we're 12 inches away we'll take a measurement with the hobo color i'll do it a couple times and uh it's telling us 38 milliwatts per centimeter squared uh again that's about tw 12 inches away um so then we're going to set up our uh you know our solar power meter that we just recalibrated try to you know make sure we're positioned in the same kind of spot um, and then we'll see what we get now oh and we're we're in btu so make sure you press the set button and we're in watts per meter squared and let's see you looks like it's too dark to see oh maybe you can see it 39 right because you have to move the decimal place so it's measuring 39.4 um so that's pretty good, you know, when uh, maybe we should go a little point lower, maybe we should do uh, point, you know, 0.54 instead of 0.55. Uh, but again, we're very close to the 38. Uh, instead, we're measuring, measuring 39. Um, so again, this is a great hack if you want kind of more instantly accurate numbers. This is only, you know, 100 bucks, so it's much cheaper than uh, laser power meters or specialty meters like, uh, like this one. 
Um, but you can save you a lot of money. You can get some instant measurements, uh, or like I said, go back to our blog and plug in the numbers to our calculators and to get even more accurate numbers. But this is a fun way to recalibrate it and, and make and get instantly accurate uh, numbers that you know much more accurate. You know, there's always going to be a little bit of error. But um, this is a good hack. Uh, hopefully, this helps uh, and and you can start to you know you can get this one and. It, rather than the 10 Mars, which I don't see any clear way to recalibrate it, um, and go from there. Thanks for tuning in.